Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Greece and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And today our topic is, your death will be your birthday. As Paul said in the Gospels, in his letters, he said that he is dying for the Lord daily. What does he mean with it? He is dying to his old self. He is repenting and dying so that he does not start to sin again. That he change his life to come to the narrow and righteous path that will lead to Mount Zion where you will be ruptured into paradise. You are called to forced to come out of the world and out of Babylon and start a righteous and holy life in spirit and truth. It will definitely not be a comfortable life as you have it now when you believe that everything is done and you can sin as you like. That is far from the truth. Now, if you die for the Lord in your old ways, in your sins, in your filthy garments, if you die and bury your past, that's the same day when you have a birthday, when you come forth into a new body, you will be born again, as Jesus said. You will start to walk that righteous path that will lead to his holy mountain. And at the sixth seal, you will be raptured into paradise. And why? Because you have cleaned your filthy garments in the blood of the Lamb and made them white as snow. So your death today is the, is the same day your birthday. You will be born again into the heavenly realm. You die to the world, you die to Jezebel, you die to Babylon, and you will be born again your birthday into the heavens. Walk with us. Come together in love, unity, and support. Join Triple Christ. Join me as Michael and walk with me that path to Mount Zion. This is God's plan of rescue for you during the seal tribulation. And the seal tribulation is starting right now. The first seal will be broken. And then if you read the book of Revelation, you know what will happen. The Antichrist will come up. And if you stay in the world, what will be his realm, then you will be forced to take the mark or die as a murderer. But if you walk with us, that path, the plan of rescue that God has for you to come out of the world and out of Babylon, you will survive. And as a survivor, you will reach the holy mountain, Mount Zion. And you will be part of the multitude clothed in white that will be ruptured into paradise. So make your day to day your burial, the death of the old ways, the death of the world, the death of Babylon. And at the same time, make today your birthday. Be born again in Jesus Christ. Make it your birthday into the heavens. I'm calling you out of the world and out of Babylon, onto that righteous path. That path that even led the Israelites through the Red Sea and into the Promised Land. Now you are called again out of the world, through the Red Sea, into your Promised Land, what will be paradise at Mount Zion. And there you will receive the spiritual mention that the Lord has promised you in John 14 too. And on the way to Mount Zion, we will bring as many people as possible to righteousness, as is written in Daniel 12, 3. Please read Isaiah 4. Read Micah about Mount Zion. Read Luke 10, because you will be a harvest worker for the Lord, and you will bring in the wheat into the barn. So die today and have your birthday today. I hope you liked the topic today and I will see you again tomorrow. Please consider to help us with our prayer and worship assembly in Cambodia. 
we have the rooms, we have registration done, but we need equipment and Bibles. So please, if you can make a donation, either one time through PayPal or monthly through Patreon, then we really would appreciate that. To help the new Christians here, who are in a place of idolatry and Jezebel, to a system that they have a new way of life, that they have found Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Help with a small donation so that they can have Bibles and equipment in their prayer and worship assembly. The link will be in the first pinned comment. Thank you for your help. I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.